Hey guys, what's going on? I got sound? There we go. Alright, so a couple things I wanted to put up. Gonna be on some PvP tonight. Just wanted to go over something real quick. Somebody asked me a while ago uh, the relation between base stats and uh, five star heroes without them. It's about 90% of their base stats, to be honest. There's a little bit of variance here. Uh, so let's just take the HP, the attack, uh, the mana. The mana, I have a mana potential. Also, the crit rate is not going to be <laughs> a good representation here. Uh, but uh, uh, if you just look at these, I'll let you pull out the calculator to test out yourself. They range from about 80 of the maximum. Uh, it might vary a little bit from hero to hero. I've only tested Nirvana with this. But this is the stats that I have. Again, disregard MP and maybe take a look at defense. Let's go HP, attack, defense. Um, and, and we'll just go from there. So that's what uh, we're looking at. Switch to the numbers. Okay, okay. Rebirth. And these are own values. So if you're doing your math there, it's, it's somewhere between 8 and 12% difference. So I'm just saying on the average, it's about 10% difference uh, from the base stat total. So just to be clear, that is not 10% stronger or weaker. Really got to get that out of the way now. It is not 10% stronger or weaker. It is 10% applied to base stat values. So it's literally just not very good at all. Um, it's... It's probably not worth your time to farm golden coups, for example, and max out your characters at level 70 uh, for the really, really small returns you're going to get. You should just level them naturally uh, and invest those coups in bringing up other heroes that you think might be valuable assets to have in your team. So uh, that's that. And I guess we just go and kill stuff now. So. Oh, still working on my collection of four-star level 60 heroes. Hikaturina is going to be coming up next, and I guess I'm going to have to do some farming for Unknown because uh, he'll be ready to go after that. So I got all these. Oh, so this is no longer available. Whatever. I got all these to give to him. So that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, let's go do some Battle of Honor. Let's climb all the way from zero to hero here. Oh, sorry. Real quick. What? Claim my first place reward again? No, didn't work. Um, yeah, I guess I'm going to have to do that today too. Dimensional Breakthrough is like a hassle now just because... Somebody attacked me in one? What the frick? they got to be really high up now. I'll revenge the shit of that. Einsama? Really? Well, I wonder what you're at right now. Let's see what we get from this. That was two days ago he was at 11-11. If he's been playing every day, then I'll probably take 40 points and he'll drop 20. How about I have everybody geared right now? I've been taking gear off characters all left, right, and center. Just been doing things kind of not as optimally as I should be. The defense on this thing. It's called oh, shit nothing. Second skill kills, they're so great. How did this person beat me? Just in general. I just, I, I'm really curious. <laughs> when Serendi's one shot in the tank, you got questions. That's all I'm saying. How much can Bear Man do? Even the Bears hitting for 50k without crits on these. How did this team beat me? Maybe it was Ice Map? I don't know. Thinking about getting a Beast Rain set for Bear Man just for fun. No one would see that coming. Getting a Beast Rain set. VOP.
one thing I kind of wanted to do was uh, do a uh, a full auto entire week in PvP to see what happened. I think that'd be pretty sweet. <clears throat> That seemed excessive AI. Well, I thought we would have got more than 25 points, but that's cool. Be nice if we get other people to revenge. Oh wow, they added a lot of shitty sets. It's like they add one shitty set for every 12 good ones. <sighs> Maybe there's something more entertaining we can do. This is really boring. It's even putting me to sleep. Maybe go check out Smurf instead. probably do a update to uh, dimensional breakthrough because with the new state of defense it's now impossible to do the Chenny solo Probably going to be sticking with the scissor team. Maybe we should do a um, a prioritization video. Maybe a beginner how-to video. A lot of new people might be coming into the game.
be nice for them to have something to judge what they're going to be doing. Especially now that I've done uh, a lot of this on my free-to-play account, it's just, like, it's a pretty straightforward, wow, that was terrible. I don't even have dodge. Uh, but now that I do a lot of this on my free-to-play account anyway, it's like there's uh, there's a pretty clear-cut path for what I think are the most impactful decisions to be making in the early game. Because um, you always want to be doing something that's actually beneficial for you and useful for you uh, all the time. Uh, a lot of the things that a lot of people generally believe uh, are just not useful information. Like the highlight of my week so far, other than beating Todd 55, is being able to auto farm Serenity Genes. I'm living the dream now. Double Gene event today. Sweet deal. Be able to get her maxed out in no time now. By no time, I mean like a month. Takes so long to max her ND skills. <laughs> It is so boring just knowing you're always going to win until like the last two hours of this BOH. How come there's nobody else that just neglects this all week like me now? I'm going to tell you the perfect PvP build you want to get in the last four days or so. Like you don't really need to PvP all week, but in the last four days you should definitely PvP 14 to 15 times a day. Uh, maybe even uh, reset crystals if you're looking for the 100% uh, participation bonus. Uh, or just play it consistently throughout the week. What you're gonna want, or where you're gonna want to be near the end of the week, is fairly close to uh, uh, to the top ranks if uh, you are able to do so, and if you're able. <sighs> if you're able, uh, on the last day, you want to save all your revenges. Now, this is very subjective to how many times you're being able to uh, be attacked. Um, but saving your revenges on characters that you know that are going to be... Like, you got to remember names. This person's here, this person's there, this person's there. It's really easy to do with the super top ranks because, like, week, go, week, 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 week goes by and it's just always the same names. Um, the people that are actually contending and trying to take it all the time. Uh, but uh, with that in mind... You just gotta save your revenge the day before and just save it. See how often you get attacked. Hope it doesn't get kicked out of the queue. Uh, and you sh you save uh, maybe three of them. Three of the biggest threats to you that you know you can beat under control. And those are your last three fights. Uh, I, I tried that out this week. It's pretty awesome. You don't wanna go too overboard. You know, if I just used the second skill AI, I would have killed Serenity too. And now I'm going to have to get charmed. And my Serenity and Lee are going to kill each other. Oh, Bear Man's there. It's all cool. That's how OP aggro is. Why are you using your third skill twice in a row? Serenity, kill the bear. What? For once in your life. This is a broken... Broken... Level. Something's wrong. So anyway, 
Um, yeah, for a crystal spending in the early game, if you're like a subscriber uh, to the Coos Gift and things like that, there's a pretty clear path to take. It's going to give you the most beneficial outcome. I am using that most beneficial, most impactful, best way to spend your crystals path on Smurf right now. And I got zero complaints. There is a slightly more efficient way, but the, you just have to do so much farming, uh, so much extra farming, it's 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 crazy. I do believe that anybody um, uh, playing for free should still be uh, wanting uh, the occasional... Wow. Same person get both of them or no? No, Lady Rowan got the super boost booster. Well, anyway, that's a good set. Is this? Oh wow, wow! Lady Rowan got two pieces. That's pretty awesome. Now, that's a really good set. It's um, I I still don't think it's as good as the Pathfinder. Oh, oh my God! The game reads my mind. Um, because Pathfinder gives movement, it works all the time. Um, you want to think of defense when you're thinking of defense items. And the problem that I have with that new set is that on defense, no one's attacking my freaking tank anyway. I'd rather have the movement. If I'm back, if I, if it say I have Jack um, uh, on my PvP team, which would be applying to 90% of all of you, um, if it's a Jack, then the Jack is more of a DPS character. I think he would still benefit from the uh, the movement uh, more. Uh, the other thing is, if you kill all the other team members, like when it's when you're on defense, people are not attacking your fourth slot. <laughs> like in PvP, it's a great set um, for for Bearman. It's a very good set for Bearman. It's just at the sacrifice of my aggro set, and that's just something I can't stand for. So, if it was a three-star set, I would be all over that shit. Like, you know I'd be all over it. But, aggro is just too good. You know, too, for PvE and PvP both, it's just too good. And there's no way I'm putting a four-star set on my tank. That is not that. Now, if you're building Jack as a tanky DPS, it's a good, a good set. I'd like to say, um, but that's more of a four DPS character build instead of a tank, like you're, you're like the the traditional build. I'd I'd like to call it now from now on. Seeing as how it's oh my goodness, where are all these gifts? Is there the the hell? I just got a gift on my Smurf account. A bunch of four star gear, like five capsules and three hundred energy. Like what? Where did this come from? And how come I don't have it on this account yet? I'm a little bit confused. Are they giving out the rewards for? Um... Oh, I guess that's what all the four star pulls are for. Well, how come I don't have it on this account yet? Like, sweet that I have it on my Smurf account, not on this account, because Smurf needs to gear. <laughs> Especially if you start. I, I've, I've got all, like, four-star characters now. So this is this is pretty good timing. Uh, I'm pretty good for the four-stars, but I could use another accessory, and it looks like I just got it. I didn't get a single set item, though. Not that I'm complaining, because it's four-star gear. But uh, let's see, what do I got for four-stars now? That's nice, just 300 random energy. Well, where is it over here? Come on. Help me out. Well, I'm kind of bad here. I didn't get it. the hell with this. Alright, I guess we'll re-log. Re Everybody likes it when you get to open stuff in front of them and they want to see what you get.
Well, I'm already full five star gear. That's awesome. Oh, sorry, four star gear. Do I have it? There we go. Look at all this energy. How long is it gonna last? One day. Ah, oh, shit. I guess I'm gonna use that up tonight. All right. Let's see how we do. Okay, nothing. Hooray. All right, disassemble. Oh shit, that's energy. Crap. Ah, oh, whatever. Just claim it all. We'll just farm like a monster tonight. We'll get the genes of every hero in the game. Nothing again. We just got nothing. We just got nothing. Got nothing again there. And some more nothing here. All blue star useless shit. Where's the, come on, give me one black cap. Frick. Where's my sweet customer rewards? This is bullshit. I almost want to spend money just because I didn't get anything. But then there's just nothing to put. Oh, wait, there's no event right now. I wonder if they've announced the new sets. Let's take a look at that. I'll go over uh, optimal spending in a minute. Fucking 500 energy. Where the hell am I going to spend this shit? Shit. Um, let's check the form out for a second. What I really want is my rewards. Costume price here, is that what this is? No. Oh man, this is the greatest announcement of all time, because I bought that package, and I'm totally getting any five-star set. I hope it's not something crappy. Well, I guess they don't have the next, uh, they, they don't have the next event up. Uh, I'm gonna die. I feel like I should keep my five-star set until they release the God of Massacre set, just so I can hope that I get it. <laughs> that, that would be awesome. Hmm. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Lord, H oh, this guy right here. This guy right here is so rich. <laughs> Uh, what I like about him is he's also so good manner. Like, he's just a very nice, polite person who you could actually tolerate and stand. Um, but let's look at his monstrous jack. He is working on some crazy stuff. Does he have it equipped yet? No, he's got the chaser set equipped. So once he's got, he's going to be ditching this, uh, this set right here. And he's going to be putting on the defender set, which is going to give him a total of 46,176 more HP between set bonuses, which then benefit from his um, potentials, and then also give percentage attack by HP. So let's see his accessories that have that. So that... <coughs> oh, he's got a pink one there. That's 1.6. That's I uh, believe pink is 1.7 on that level. It's 2.3 at this level, but he's always oh, got a green one. That's okay. 10% attack. OP. And 2.7, oh, that's an awesome freaking pendant. 100% MP, 2.7 HP, and 10% attack. That, that is OP. Attack damage. For his, his jack, he really should focus crit damage more than anything else. Sorry, uh, damage, percent damage more than anything else. So it affects the uh, percent HP damage, as we learned. Oh yeah, but this guy is, this guy is a monster. He is just loaded, and uh, he loves the game as much as as much as I do. So <laughs> he's maybe even more. He's pretty hardcore, uh, but uh, really cool guy. And uh, he's gonna be stomping a lot of noobs going into the future. It's just gonna be his lot in life to noob stomp. All right, so let's talk about spending. You get your crystals. You got all these crystals early game. What do you? What do I spend this on? I want to do this good. Please help me not be so retarded with my money. And I'm here for you. I'm here for you to do that exact thing. So, first I gotta talk about just how much free crystals you're gonna be able to get in this game. Uh, so much is, that, like there's tons. Just with your daily achievements, I believe it's 40. Uh, so normal boss is 4, 8 is 12, 13, 14, 20, 26, 32, 40. Yeah. So you get 40 crystals a day, just from 
and dailies. If you have the Ku's gift, that's 90 crystals a day just like that. Now, on top of the 90 crystals, every stage that you see here gives you two crystals. With the exception, they may have the odd level here or there that gives you some shitty reward that you don't want. But all of these levels, every single start, count two crystals for every single one of those, for every one you can beat. You don't need to... Uh, uh, what's the word? You don't need to get SS on it, you just need to clear it. Uh, also, in the Nepenthes dungeons, the highest stage you can beat for every Nepenthes dungeon, you get a two crystal crystal, uh, sorry, a two crystal uh, reward for beating each one. Ooh, accessory storage. Have I done this on this account? Oh, sweet. Frick. Uh, uh, honestly, I don't do any of these things, like, ever. So, I'm going to go through and SS this just to see if there's any hard ones, and there's not going to be. That's unfortunate. Whatever. We'll use Chenny because she's got the ghost up. Uh, but uh, you you go through and you beat all these levels. I'm just going to keep talking about the crystals while we we saw this to help me use up all my useless energy that I don't need anymore. I I need so little energy to maintain my account right now. It's it's outrageous. I, I'm getting to the point where I've got like every hero that I can perceive myself using maxed out. Like I don't need I don't need anything. Um, which is sad. Uh, that's very sad for me. <laughs> I really want to keep having things to play for. Uh, but, uh, I really don't need anything right now. Um, but on Smurf, which is new, exciting, and fun, and everything's always whatever, always something to do, because I'm not going to be able to beat this game the way that I've beaten it on my main account for, like, a year. But, uh, there's a very ideal way that you can use your crystals to start out, to give you the best benefit to your characters. Now the first thing that you're going to want to get is your expedition to level 4. No surprise there. Some people might argue that getting the friends list up is a little bit more impactful, uh, but I, I wouldn't, I would argue that's just bullshit. Uh, your friends list doesn't give you any good rewards at all. Uh, what's nice about the friends list is when you're just getting characters in the first, in the, in the, the two and three star range, um, it's nice that you get all this gear that you could roll for as soon as you have it if you save up a bunch of friendship points. But for the most part, the best rewards that you get is free-to-play player are the medals, uh, the gold coups, and uh, energy. Um, the equipment kind of sucks uh, to, to have just in general. Uh, now, Nexon's always got some kind of event going on. They're always giving away stuff. Like right now, we have the greatest giveaway event of all time with their chocolate. So that's going to mitigate a lot of your spending right now if you are playing currently. Because um, there's definitely going to be things that you don't need to go and get or farm or do stuff just because you have all this stuff. Like a lot of a lot of people to refine their potentials, what they had to do um, in the olden days, you know, back when, back when we had to walk uphill in the snow, five feet deep, ten miles both ways, uh, just to get our equipment capsules, uh, we had to uh, we had to basically max out a item into the pink farm. Like you just would you would spend like a day. Like you you would just take actually. This was the free to play way. You use the whole week. You use all your energy in the capsule rooms. You raise a piece of gear for the stage that you're able to be to the pink. You spend a bunch of money on it, a bunch of farming, a bunch of materials, and then you disassemble it <laughs> so you can get modification potions. That was the way that it had to be if you wanted to get really good potentials before. Now we have this event where you can four potions for each type every single day. Uh, so for any lobies right now playing around, uh, like for me on my Smurf account, I'm just saving up the five star ones. So when I get there, I'll just make sure I get attack damage on all my weapons. Um, good orange ones too, uh, but that's what I'm going for right now. It's pretty, it's pretty awesome uh, that it's actually so easy. <laughs> um, picked a really good time to start playing free, uh, but there's there's a lot of free ways to do things now that are a hell of a lot easier. Like farming for the materials uh, with the tower that we have now, we can get a ton of extra metals from that uh, from the the various stages depending on where you can beat. 
Uh, but what's nice about uh, like the mater uh, materials you need to enhance your equipment to, from uh, like uh, from the different stages up into legendary ranking, um, that like those never lose value. Like you get to the next stage, it's not like you're done with your gear. You're never done with your gear in this game. I've got amazing stuff on my characters, and I am not even close to done. I'm so far from done. Like I need. Well, I I done rough est rough estimates of how much I I'm gonna need to spend and play to get to where I want, and if you knew what the numbers were, you'd probably shit your pants because I'm aiming for pink everything's one day, and it's basically impossible. Um, though it would be cool, definitely be badass. Can't argue with that. Um, but anyway, back to to the spending. The very first thing that you want to get is your ex expedition to level 4. Now you should have a hero in mind. Now with expedition to level 4 you should be able to get 150 coins a day um, if you're farming properly. Uh, for expedition it's definitely beneficial for you to max out 100% completion the, the places that you are farming. It's also really nice to at least be able to get up to foos and max that because foos is nice to do it while you're sleeping. Um, <laughs> Listen to me, sleep. Nobody sleeps in this game. We got to keep playing. Uh, but uh, uh, that would be like anything up to foos. You should 100% all those. That's uh, that's like a priority thing. Now you can't obviously just have that done like right away. You need a pretty solid four star four star team and some good mercenaries to to 100% complete foos. You even need to have some scissor team um, going on. That's gonna be semi decent at being able to clear some things so or at least with a good mercenary mercenary to help you out on that level because there's a lot of swamp but um, after expedition you get the four but you should be able to farm efficiently one hero a day if you can farm one hero a day then you're basically set uh, there's like very bad heroes for ancient coin heroes uh, they're, they're just not good. Uh, I, I think that Mu has a guaranteed value skill with her stun. She's also a very good hero in general. She's got an area heal, it does area damage, it, ha it gives her a huge amount of crit rate. The mana cost isn't that bad, her mana pool is really high. Like There's a lot of really kind of ideal things about Mu that make her really good. The other heroes are all kind of bad. Um, uh, uh, Momo, for example, uh, he's basically already got a better version of himself um, in Car Carrot that you can just get easier, so why uh, get Momo? I, I got Momo on Barzark thinking that Momo was the better version of Carrot, but turns out uh, Carrot's got the debuffs. They, their stats are like, like in terms of damage, they're the same. Uh, Momo's just like got more tankiness to him. Momo can take more hits, uh, but at the end of the day, does that like. Is having your DPS character a little bit tankier a better thing? Uh, I, I disagree. Um, now, the third skill on Momo hits a huge, huge area. So, if you need the area damage back, which you, like, there's zero chance that you actually do with the, the other characters you're going to have available to you at, the, at any point in time where you can have Momo. Uh, but if you need the area damage, then you you could switch them out, but the four movement on Carrot and Carrot's hitbox, uh, and, and just her, her skills are just, they're just better. They debuff the things that you're hitting, and PvE, that's really awesome. Anyway, uh, Momo's just not, it's not that he's a bad hero, it's just that he's just not good enough to be worth it. It's just 45 coins that I could have had, uh, used on Moo. Um, and, um, what else we got? Yeah, Shark is a joke. I'm not even going to go into it. Shark is such a bad character. It is insane. There's a lot of people who really like Shark. They're probably watching this video going, but Shark is so good. Oh, my Shark's so good. Shark is a shit hero. He is so bad. It is just hard to imagine what went into like the thought process and picking him out. This is the last one, isn't it? I guess I probably should just play this one. So I'm just having it all autoed all the way through. Cheaters. Man, remember when Chenny had OP gear like Beast Reigns and Dasmir sets? Oh, those were the days. Um, oh yeah, 
guys, so sidetracking again here. Um, after you have the expedition, like Shark, un unknown situationally useful. So he's semi exception, but uh, he's not he's not good. He's not somebody you would put in a court team at, at, for any reason. Um, especially not if you have access to Lancer Alex. Man, Lancer Alex is badass. Uh, but there's really no ancient coin here that's that's good. Um, good enough to make the cut for, hey, you should raise this hero. And out with that. Uh, but uh, after you have that, the next thing you're going to want to work on uh, is uh, your friends. Uh, you are going to want to get your friends up to a certain point because there's different achievements you can get for having friends go up. and uh, There's all kinds of fun stuff that you can do. So, one second. This this counts. This is poison, isn't it? This purple stuff counts as poison too, doesn't it? And I have... Alright, yeah. So, Bear Man is a vintage train for everything in here. That's cool. Oh, that wasn't the right target. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, after you have... Uh, Your brain turned on so you could actually remember what you're talking about. Um, after you have Expedition up, uh, you want to get your friends list up. Um, friends list is definitely not higher priority than uh, your Expedition. Um, but it is easier to get friends. Uh, and I would say maybe between 45 and 50 is a good amount. Uh, but it, if you want to max it out, uh, I've just found it uh, uh, eventually just gets really annoying to have so many friend slots, to be honest. Um, just because there's just so much crap that you have to do. Like, just, I, I, on my main account, I find that now I've got to the point where I just buy the friendship point stuff so I can actually do levels because we have max friendship points. You can't do, like, you can't use mercenaries. You can, like, there's so many things you just can't do. It's really stupid. I wish there was no cap and it just went on forever. I would just save that up all day and never, ever open it. Just it'd be like a kind of cool thing. Yeah, I got I got eight million friendship points. It's cool. Um, but after you have the friendship points uh, maxed out, uh, sorry, after you have your friends slots maxed out, you're gonna want to start doing one of two things. One, buying gear. Uh, now buying gear is gonna be something that's you're gonna have to. It's gonna be different from person to person. If you get really unlucky, I could see why you wouldn't want to do it. But for the most part, people should generally do this. Um, the way that I did it on Smurf was I said, you know what? I will save up with my dailies, my Kuz gift. I'm making over 100 crystals a day. I'm going to go into the equipment uh, shop. And I'm going to buy one temple of this. One temple of this. One temple of this, one temple of this, and eventually one temple of this. Now what's happened is I got to the point where I don't need to pull any four-star gear because I've got so much. They've just given away so much stuff uh, that it hasn't happened. So I've bought one, two, and three-star pulls. Um, I think I pulled a couple four-star pieces, like just singles, right when I got my first four-star character for the event. Uh, but that's it. I, I think I've wasted 300 crystals on, on four-star pulls. Um, which has been able to get me to go into my Lord Mastery. My Lord Masteries are probably the most important thing that you can buy uh, impactfully. Now, costumes obviously haven't been on the list yet, and we're already getting to Lord Masteries. What's with that, right? Uh, Lord Costume is not good. Uh, bang for buck stats-wise, it's, uh, it's not a good purchase. Um, though I do suggest maybe you buy one later at some point in time when you really have nothing else to buy. It's not that it's a terrible purchase, it's just not a good purchase. That's the uh, the only thing I'm really trying to say here. Oh, it's a thousand crystals. There's a lot of stuff you can get for a thousand crystals. And the costume is not a good thing. <laughs> Unless there's nowhere else for you to go. The costume should be one of the last things on your list to get. So what I did was I was finding that I was spending way too much gold on uh, equipment enhancement. So I spent enough Lord Masteries to get into this here. Uh, I think I only bought 10, uh, actually. So I was like around level 30 or something, and I bought 10, and I think that was enough to max that out. 
uh, maybe 35 or something like that. Uh, but I have that maxed out, and then I, I just move down here because finding equipment, having better potentials. Obtaining is also when you're enhancing. Um, so it, it says that you find, it used to say has obtained in the chat, but now it says uh, you've found uh, whatever. Probably just a little thing of clarity. Uh, but every time you obtain, gives you a chance to get a better potential, which is nice. I will eventually be going to the Miser and uh, the um, Energy Saving uh, Masteries because they're really great. But they can wait. I after I had up to uh, up to here uh, maxed out, uh, which I believe was only ten. I said the hell with that. We're going over the Battle Masteries. Battle Masteries are awesome. I know I was just about maxed on Grace uh, when I started buying my Battle Masteries. The first thing I bought was this HP increase, and I'm working on the attack increase right now. I have it at level 13, I think. So I already bought, I think, 33, 34? Yeah, 33 or 34 Battle Masteries. Which, is that's like a huge amount of crystals to be spending on that. Um, if you really want to do the math. It starts out at 50 uh, for the first 10 or 11. And then after that, for, it's for I think it's, it's, it's buggy, and it's like... It's 1 to 11, and then at 20 it goes up, and whatever. It goes up by 10 um, crystals each for every 10 stage. So it's like 500 uh, crystals for the first 10, and then it's 600 for the next 10, and 700 for the next 10, then 800, and then 900 crystals for, for the next ones. So I, I've, I'm in the 30s, so I've done the 5, 6, and 7 uh, hundreds. So that's that's almost two thousand crystals right there that I've just put into to Lord Masteries, uh, and it's been very awesome uh, to be honest. Uh, I feel that my party's a hell of a lot stronger. Uh, this HP fifteen percent thing is like the greatest mastery of anything you can get. Like a lot of these things are kind of not amazingly impactful, but that fifteen percent HP is huge. Um, I'm probably going to go with the attack instead of going crit because there's no way I'll be able to have a specialization. Uh, for a while. Instead of going to crit, I'm going to go defense. So I'm going to have these three here, and that's going to be it until I reset one day. Uh, and it, like, I, basically what's going to happen is once I have this maxed, I might consider resetting, taking out defense, um, and then going crit and a specialization, because the specialization is OP. That's my bar, sir. <laughs> if I... If I look at it, maybe when I have it at 10, I'll, I'll, I'll consider doing it. Uh, but your Battle Masteries are basically a very, very, very long set of purchases. And, and they last for quite a while to get it up. Uh, but that's going to be the most impactful thing you do, because you're looking at 9% more attack for all your heroes, 15% more HP. The 4.5 uh, defense you get from this Mastery at max is actually 4.5 total percent. So if you had like 61% defense, it would add 4.5 right on top of the bit. It doesn't calculate a number. It adds a flat percentage amount to whatever your maximum is for all your characters. So it's pretty damn good. Um, but that being said, you know, 9% more attack, which is not going to go through all your multipliers, or 4.5% uh, less damage taken. The, I... I Correct me if I'm wrong, but it seems like you get way better value from the attack than you would get from the defense. Uh, the HP, no question, is definitely the best one. Okay. So anyway, that's where I'm work uh, I am so far uh, myself. Now, after you already have uh, everything maxed out, I got all my Lord Masteries bought, what do I do now? Um, it, it's probably going to just recycle back into the same old things. Check your gear. Do you need gear? Should you even... Like, there might be even times where you have to stop saving up uh, your, uh, your... For your Battle Masteries. Uh, sorry, stop spending on your Battle Masteries and start saving up for gear if you're like, hey, you know, I really need a pull. Uh, just, there's no events going on right now. There's, I, I just cannot get what I need to progress, and, and I need some gear. Um, you're going to want that. You, you have to... Oh, somebody got a good, awesome pull, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but uh, then is when you're going to want to kind of go off the caps. Maybe you, <laughs> females have boobs. It's amazing. Uh, 
maybe you want to get your expedition up to 10. It is definitely useful to have it at 10. It's just expensive and they don't give you any benefits. Like the, the things that you're going to want that are impactful are the things that actually make your party directly stronger. Those are the best things you can do for your team because those are the things that you're doing. Like the game is, these are your units, they go to kill things. If you are not doing something that makes your team directly stronger, it's not as good. It's just, uh, there's no there's no direct benefit like that. Like it's, it's like in your support masteries. A lot of people would say, well, you should get support mastery first because it should pay for itself in the long run. That's bullshit. Even if you buy this and this and get over here and hope you get better uh, amounts of crystals for your expeditions, that is like the... Wow, man, like just thinking of the Lord Master you have to buy for that, and then the Lord, uh, the crystals uh, you have to spend to max out expedition to make use of it, that's like a two to three year investment to get your crystals back out of that. Uh, and what, just so you can farm slightly better? It's just not worth it. It's it's so completely not worth it. Like, let's just look at these Lord Masteries for a second. This one right here makes expedition time take 1% less, up to 15% less time. So if it takes an hour, now it takes 45 minutes. If you are glued to the tablet or your phone all the time, that might have some value. But for the average person, this is not actually even going to do anything. This this mastery almost does nothing unless you are a 24-7 player. Like, I play all the time, and I find it to be a huge waste. The next one is, well, it gives you a higher chance of finding crystals now does it give you like a maxed out you guaranteed you're going to get crystals no it does not it says it increases the chance of finding crystals by a certain amount so how that's probably going to work the way that nexon does things is it likely increases like say the the chance of getting uh, well let's look at this Oh, that's just by 9%, so this, that would be a bad example there. Uh, think of it like this. Say you, you have like a 10% chance, and it's a number value like set. So say it's, let's say, 1,000 out of 10,000. Um, you need to roll like a 1 to 1,000 out of 10,000 number random, number generated, generate crystal. So just increase it by an X amount of percent of that whatever. So it only give you twice as much, not 100%. But the crystals that you get as rewards... Like, let's look over, oh, over here. What the hell am I doing? Expedition, that's what I'm doing. All right, rewards, rewards by the region. So, let's look at the moon island. So, you can get up to two to four crystals, eight to ten on ashen. Like, that's cool. Like, it's it's good amount. So, that's, uh, what is that, uh, four hours. So, if you do that in ashen, um, let's say you did it three times a day, four times a day, you can get almost 40 crystals if you always had perfect uh, drop rates. Um, if you went into those masteries. Uh, it's it's It seems like a pretty good benefit. But again, it's, it's really just your time. Uh, and the thing is, you are still getting crystals the way they are. So... You could say, well, oh, I get crystals every time, so it's worth it, but you can't sit, like, there's no way for you to tell. Like, I get crystals all the freaking time, and I don't even have it. Like, I, I don't know how many crystals I get every single day, but it's a freaking lot. I get a ton of crystals every day just from Expedition. Um, man, it'd be great if I get, oh, shit, not going to be finishing one of those anytime soon. Um, but I get crystals all the time without it. It's really not changing much because the only way to tell the value of that would be to like do an entire month to record every time you got crystals and then max it out and then do the difference and then be like okay okay so i'm making this x amount more uh okay i would definitely get my value back for that in six years <laughs> like that's basically in effect what you'd have to do to find uh find out the exact value but it's really not good um that that doesn't really give you an impact on your team. Uh, now, the Battle Masteries directly make all of your guys stronger. Immediately, you click it, it's done. It's not, an, it's, it's not an investment, it's not anything. It's just boom, there it is, it's done. It's the same thing with uh, buying equipment, uh, where you want to be able to have all that equipment. Now, the other thing is recruiting heroes. You get a lot of free stuff from recruiting heroes. 
Oh, I need Shushu. Oh, I need Belle. She doesn't even exist. Oh, neither does Hella. Whatever. These characters don't exist in my world. Um, except Asriel. I could totally go get him. Um, we're almost maxed out here. I guess I should suck it up and go farm Asriel. Just because uh, his level sucks so much. I haven't tried it out with uh, with Lee. Maybe we'll go do that for fun in a little bit. But uh, once you have uh, like your battle masteries and, and your gear uh, in check, now only buy gear to the point where you feel you need to beat normal mode <laughs> uh, in tower. If you can do some hard mode, it's cool too. Like I just beat it with, uh, I think I had two four stars and some three stars on Smurf the other day. And I used one four-star mercenary, and I was able to beat hard mode. So that was uh, pretty awesome. I was pretty stoked about that. Uh, but those are generally the better way to get everything from then then on as a free player. Uh, it, it'll get to the point where you can just store up tons of crystals, and then they'll just like you. You need to have a goal for the the set items that you want. And you gotta wait for those ones to go on sale, and that's when you buy. Uh, I strongly suggest people focus on the Decimir and Beast Rain sets before anything else, because those are the ones that are are gonna give you the hugest benefit in PvP. Um, but you know, a lot of people might want to have a Ghost Step set. Uh, like four star and five star sets are like a whole different ballgame. Uh, there, there's so much more crystals uh, to invest like on the per piece basis it just it, it, it's so much it's it's so much more it's outrageous getting a four star or five star especially five star ss uh set item is is like crazy huge you're better off just biding your time and hope you can get that from the the towers and focusing on a few decimir and a few beast drain sets before you do anything else um but that's more of a, okay, I've got everything maxed out, what do I spend my crystals on kind of thing. Now, with costumes in mind, let's look at costumes. Depending on the character, that's functional, oh, okay. Depending on the ca uh, character, it may be beneficial for you to buy a costume. But definitely not in the early game. This is going to be one of the later game refinement things. Now, uh, you might want to, earlier, based off preference... Uh, but it's going to be up to you. The only costumes that I feel are worth uh, the crystal amount are Angela's costume, Serendi's costume for sure, best costume in the game, and uh, Nirvana's costume. Now, all of those heroes' costumes give movement, which is a limited stat that you can't even... It doesn't matter how awesome your your spending habits are. Movement is the most limited stat in the game, and having lots of it is good. It's just, it is what it is. Uh, so any costume that has movement actually has a priceless value. So th that's just something to consider. Um, all the other costumes just have these shitty stats that, like, you know, there's cheaper ways to get 600 more HP on my rocket right now because of the insanely high cap for gear. You gotta think to yourself, 600 crystals for this instead of another pull to see if I get better gear? No. <laughs> like, it's, it's just not, it is completely not worth it. Like, 100, 1.5, this reads 1% hit, 1.5% crit rate. Not worth it. It is just generally so bad. Like, if I, if I had to compare what we just read, let's look at a ring here, which gives almost twice as much as that in terms of stats. Well, actually, if I added the crit rate to the hit rate, it would be almost as much. That would be a total of 250, and I get 272 crit rate and hit rate from just one piece. So, of a one-star item that you could roll, potentially, for 35 crystals. So, like, we're... Like, the, the difference in value for what you're getting is terrible. Now, what's nice about the costumes is, like, it's a, it's a buy it. You know exactly what you're getting, and it's done. You might just like the skin. Uh, so those are going to be things like that. But generally, if you're buying aesthetic stuff, just spend the money. 
Like, yeah, you can save and do it in free, free to play, but if there's some aesthetic thing you want to do, support the game. Just be like, okay, I want to be a free to play player and I want to be free and everything free and get all this stuff for free. But for costumes, just break your rule a little bit and buy a costume. It's not a big deal. No one's going to be like, you're not a free to play player because you bought 400 health and 100 dodge. Like, like no one's going <laughs> to. Like, that's the game breaking thing. This person's so pay to win because <laughs> they bought a costume. Um,. But yeah, just do that. Uh, on my free-to-play account myself, the only costume I'm even going to go for is Serendis, and I think that just because I'm doing everything on the free end, I probably should save up for it. But it's still not going to come until long after I've done my Battle Masteries. Or maybe after I do Battle Masteries, I'll save up for Serendis costume, or, or maybe wait for a sale. Uh, but that's generally just how I'm going to do it. Uh, Tower uh, gives a, a ton of crystals for beating uh, the bunch of the levels. There's a few hundred crystals you get from that. So there's that extra little kick for you every month. When you renew your Coos gift, it gives you a few hundred. Like, there's a lot of nice things uh, that Nexon does gives away. Um, sign in here. You signed in, get, take this stuff for free. Like, Nexon gives tons of stuff away. Uh, and when you can get generally 100 crystals a day for free already, then, you know, we're sitting around three, 4,000 a month um, with everything. Uh, like, all the, like, just things that you can count on. I think, I think 4,000 crystals a month is generally a decent budget uh, for what you could expect if you're getting the Coos gift, if you're doing all of your daily achievements, if you're beating levels and content consistently and getting a few extra crystals a day. In the beginning, there might be a huge spike where you have tons. Uh, your renewal fees, for uh, uh, sorry, sorry, bonuses for your Coos gift, uh, and uh, then the tower rewards and things like that. There, like, There's a lot of stuff that gets given away. It's... Uh, Nexon has built a very well balanced, very free to play game, and I've found that I've really got zero problems even on my free uh, account. So uh, I'm kind of like happy about that. What I don't like about my main account um, is that I paid like a ton, and now with how much I know about the game, it, there's zero. <sighs> I, I feel like I could have done 90% of what I have without it, and then everything that I've spent is just for gear sets. Everything that I spent that wasn't for gear sets has been a complete waste, because uh, I, I didn't need to go out, I didn't need to be like, oh, I need this right now. I did not need any of that shit right now when I paid the crystals and used it. I could have benefited from having a better understanding of how the gear worked, um, but like, look at my heroes. Day one, I liked this game, so I was like, oh, I'll support the game, I'll buy some stuff. So, like, I bought um, Carrot's costume, I bought Chris's costume, I bought Ian's costume, and Sorokin's costume. I just, I bought all my team's costumes on, like, like the first or second day. I was like, I like this game. Purchase. That's <laughs> that's what I, what I did. <laughs> like, if I knew how insane the cap for being like tapped out for everything is in this game was that I never would have done that in a million years. Um, but next one gives a ton of stuff away. I, I hope that's been a, a decent uh, guide for how you should be spending your money. Uh, the only other thing I wanted to talk about was in PvP, uh, you also get crystals every week for that. So if you just do a few, you'll get like 30, 40 crystals a week just from doing that. Even if you just don't even try, just play one a day, you'll probably get like 25 to, to 40 crystals or something like that, uh, just for doing that. Um, but I uh, just wanted to say, if there is an event on, no, it is not worth it to reset and get things. If in the Nepenthes dungeon you are really trying to max out a character, and unless you are a paying player and you in, like you intend to pay more in the future, it is not worth to reset this up to 160. Like even for me, 160 crystals, I think, well, whoop de do, right? That's well, actually, you know what? That's like four bucks. Not worth it. It's just it's just not worth it to get another three. Like I spent 160 for the 20, the 20, the 40, and the 80 reset altogether. Why do I want to spend another 160 just for three more? I'll just wait a couple days. It's not a big deal. Um, just doing the three though. Take things slow. Uh, I found that uh, leveling up in this game, if you're doing everything properly and efficiently, 
as a free-to-play player, you're doing all your farming and things like that, you don't have a huge amount of progression because there's always better things to do than progress th through the story. There's almost always better things to do than pro progress through the story. I'm only at Gurgis right now, and I can probably just walk through it without it giving me any trouble. Um, I I'm still at 50 friend uh, slots, and I have... Um, Let's see, 50 friend slots and Expedition 4. My Lord Masteries are doing really damn good. Um, and that's about it. The You do want to recruit every hero that you, is available to you in the area as you get to them uh, for the story rewards. Uh, just to be generating more income for yourself. But, um, but that's about it. There really isn't that much else that you need to spend crystals on at all. Now, there are a couple little things that you can... Like do like you might have some gear that you get maybe get a gear set now it used to be that if you got a pink item, you had to pay to unequip it, uh, and now that's uh, it's completely free and all set item it used to also scale so you took something off like six times, you you'd be like okay well who do I want it on because it's never leaving them now it's never leaving them now, <laughs> that was the rule. <laughs> See it got up into like I think I had one piece that cost me over a hundred to take it off. This is bullshit. That I had a few nineties for sure, but uh, it was it was absolutely terrible. Now there's a lot of saving, a lot of money. That like when you don't have everything maxed out, it, it feels like there's never enough gold and things like that. But if you're taking your time and you're just doing things that you need, just try to keep a good perception of what you need, and your spending just becomes very natural. Just like another part of the game. Okay, this is that. It's just that time, and you just get the things and you just continue. Um, that's, uh, I think that's all I want to talk about. Oh, yeah. These, totally not worth it. It's nice because it levels you up faster. Like, I'll show you, it's going to move me maybe from the end of the S to, like, the, around the U and U. We'll do it just for whatever because, oh, wow, two and a half times. That was sweet. If that happened every time, I would reconsider. Yeah, so it's it's I'm just before the U. So like how much it's raising me in experience. Now maybe I'll max out. Uh, you can get up to level fifteen with those things, and it'll give you up to one hundred and eighty. But I'm getting one hundred and sixty right now. Twenty more mana stones per level. Not worth it. You get it when you get there. Uh, obviously, I have no shortage of mana mana crystals right now. My potential fine. Um, I just I just don't need any. Uh, Three million gold is my new zero. So I'm actually broke right now. <laughs> In case some shit happens and I actually need the money. The real reason I, I made 3 million gold my zero is uh, because one day, depending on how many item slots I have to be able to put materials in there, I'm going to rebirth all these heroes at the same time, and it's going to be hilarious. I, just, I think I think once I have Unknown and Yekaterina up, I think that'll be it. I'll just, I'll just do the seven. Just seven in a row, boom, 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 boom. boom. People will be like, what the fuck? Uh, um, also, it's nice to have them there because I don't have to pay the outrageous cost for rebirthing at that stage. Which is a lot higher without the miser skill. Uh, but I don't have to pay for that, and I, I'm not using these characters. Their skills are not... Apparently using him. Uh, their skills are not um, really high enough to make them practical. And it's going to be a long time to build them, so uh, I'm not uh, super anxious about any of them. With the exception, I, I kind of want Lana, but my, my perfect genes have to go to Yekaterina now. Because i got to get her, i, I got to get these three skills maxed. Unfortunately, <laughs> that's going to be very expensive. I kind of want to do the sleep first, because, uh, oh, but at the same time, this skill is so cool. Anyway, she's she's a hard character to plan uh, because she only seems like she's amazing if you have everything maxed. It's depressing. Can I max this? <laughs> Six twelve, not chance. Um, all right, but that's that's gonna be about it. Um, that's all I wanted to say for the uh, the spending for your crystals on the uh, free account. Um, probably should have filmed that on my free account. Would have been probably a little bit better visually. Um, was there something else I was going to do? I remember saying I was going to do something that I completely forgot what it was. 
I did say I was going to do a DB thing, but I changed my mind. I'm just not in the mood to play DB right now. Oh yeah, we were going to go into to Azrael and just see how stupid this is. Alright, let's do the hard one first. Chenny is not strong enough to be as amazing as she used to be. That is unfortunate. I think Das Bear is still good to go. Serenity needs to be in slot 1. Okay, I should probably drop Bear Man for like Moo or something else that can walk on Swamp here, but I think we'll be fine. Should definitely put Swamp Walk on somebody else. Whatever, that's fine. I'll just do it this way because I got 5 range now. Let's take a Serenity Merc or a Rage, why not? Hope we can take a Lance, that would be a good one. Throw Grace on and have him go in. Ooh, the loins. Yeah, let's play with the loins. My Chenny has like such bad stuff on her right now. Taking her out of the PvP team was hard. It was great because she was an amazing all round. Oh, this is my great PvP hero, PvE hero, and. <laughs> like everything else hero. Like this is my hero that just did everything and did it amazingly. Alright great we charmed both of them so that was cool. Do I have four movement on Deb? I forget. Whatever just in case. Better go with this one. Well that's nice we can still kill those. Da, 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 da. You better kill this with the client set, bitch. Ah, son of a... Whatever. Alright, good enough. And of course, Lee. The Invincible Lee. Coming to save the day. Well, that was probably the best turn I've ever had. Maybe I should just start doing this again. Oh, he disarmed him. That was fantastic. That was really nice too. Good old Serenity. You can always count her on her to be amazing. Gotta keep that movement. Not that I need it. Of course all these guys have Swamp Walk. That makes perfect sense. This is not a good place to stand. I'm gonna get hit by the Jennies. Well, whatever. You can come back here and hang out for a while. Um, you can just hang out too. Just stay right there. Bearman can come out here. He can be the target. Lee, hopefully you don't get hit. Oh, sweet. I wonder if this is broken right now. <laughs> oh, I don't have any mana. What the hell? <sighs> A turn. Oh, whatever. I've already got SS on this. We don't need to wait any turns. One second. One, two, three, four, five, six. God damn it. Oh. Wait up. Wait up. Oh, we're going to do this the hardcore way. Man, Lee's so OP. Now, this is not obviously the practical way to do this if you're <laughs> doing it for the first time now. Uh, I should have just one shot her with the regular skill. Now does Shushu also come? Guess not. Alright, anyway, that was just, I just wanted to test that. 
it's nice to know. Stay there for a little bit. You can't reach out of the journey, can you? Nope. Oh, I, I can't reach Azrael either? That sucks. Whatever, let's kill the shoe. I should just kill the, uh, the Jenny, but... I think I'll just walk over and let them attack me now. The loins! Tender survived. Oh, but not going to survive the spikes. Well, whatever. Fairman was a bad choice. <laughs> Literally did nothing the entire time. That, uh, that cost me my turn? Shit, I should have turned that crap off. Tender... Why you gotta be like that? I don't need the crit damage against this. Oh, what the hell? Final boss is OP. I should really move Lee around. I'm not gonna have the 5 range soon. Dub's gonna survive. Maybe I don't need Lee. Moo would have been so much more useful. Especially Mine can walk across the swamp. Alright. Maybe I will recruit Asriel. We'll just, that's what I'll use my 8 million energy on. Let's reset Asriel until the cows come home for like a week. Anyway, that's gonna be that for today.